Nicola, why are we meeting here? It's proper bracing, almost too bracing. Ah, there's no such thing as too bracing, we marry. And I brought you here because I'm going to take you on a little sea voyage. I want to show you something important. You know who the bane of my wife is, we marry? Jimmy Cranky? Because people keep saying you look like her. No, you daft dober. Theresa May. Not only did she put the kibosh on NDRF2, but thanks to her hopeless Brexit shenanigans, Scotland's being pulled out of Europe, whether we like it or not. And we do not! Oh, but don't worry. I'm going to cut a few backdoor deals with our European neighbours, so Scotland is protected when the Brexit hits the fan. Our European neighbours? I have a crack team beavering away in a top secret offshore location. Is it the Orkneys? Yeah. Yeah, it's the Orkneys. Oh. It's just such a beautiful holiday destination. What people say that? What can you actually do there? There's loads to do there. Like what? Walking, hiking, strolling, wandering, roaming. Why, the roaming's dead good. This way we marry. Behold, the Scottish Partisan Operations Room for European Negotiations, Sporing. That looks just like a call centre. It is a call centre. Then why does it have to be so far away? Well, we've got to stay under Theresa May's radar, because what we're doing here might not be strictly constitutional. Hello, this is Morag calling from the ancient country of Scotland. I understand you've been involved in a Brexit that wasn't your fault. I wonder if I can interest you in a political alliance at all. Hello, is that a Dutch cabinet office? I'm calling from the SNP on behalf of Nicola Sturgeon, the First Minister of Scotland. It's part of the UK. The bit above England. No, 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 we want to stay with you. Uh, Nicola, I, th I think I've got your lead. Brilliant. It's the cultural minister of Slovenia. He said he'd consider a meeting if he can get him tickets to the next Biffy Clyro tour. At least I think that's what he said. It's quite hard to understand. Hey, well, give me the phone there. Hello, it's Nicola Sturgeon from the SAP. We're a pro-European constitutional organisation. Um, uh, hello? Hello? No, I'm speaking English. Hey. Hello? Hello? No, it's hung up. Why on earth couldn't he understand me? Do you think it could be anything to do with you saying Scotland wants to be an independent country with a proud nationalist agenda? while simultaneously denying the primacy of national borders by claiming you want to be an enthusiastic part of the European Union. Shut it, we marry, and go for a long roam. <laughs> 